Bitcoin did not start as money, it started as a rebellion against banks, governments, and control. The idea of digital money began in the 1980s, but it failed. Too easy to copy, too easy to hack. Then came 2008, the world economy collapsed, banks were bailed out, people lost everything. And out of the chaos came a name, Satoshi Nakamoto. In 2009, Bitcoin was launched. It was not printed, it was mined on computers. It had no government, no bank, no physical form, only code, math, and trustless security. The first ever Bitcoin transaction, a man paid 10,000 Bitcoin for two pizzas. Today that is worth hundreds of millions. At first Bitcoin was ignored, then it became a lifeline. In countries with hyperinflation, people used Bitcoin to survive. Hackers loved it, black markets used it, governments feared it. Soon came Ethereum, created by Vitalik Buterin in 2015. It was not just digital money, it was a platform for smart contracts. It could power apps, games, art, and a new financial system. By 2021, crypto was everywhere. Bitcoin hit $69,000. Celebrities, companies, even countries joined in. El Salvador made Bitcoin official currency, but the crash came too. Massive losses, bankruptcies, scams. Now crypto is rebuilding. Governments want control. Builders want freedom. Is it the future of money or a digital dream fading away? One thing is clear. Cryptocurrency is not just money. It is a revolution.